Hi, my name is Carrie Brown. I am a kindergarten teacher in Central Alabama, and we're going to be talking all about Leo the Late Bloomer. This book is about Leo, a young tiger who is learning a lot of new skills. His dad is a little worried that he isn't learning as quickly to read, to draw, to write, and even to talk. But you will find in the end that along his journey with a little patience, he reaches something magical. A few lessons that you can do with this book is teaching perseverance, which is huge in kindergarten because all of our skills are new skills. So sometimes our students struggle and this shows them that it is okay to not get everything in the beginning. This is also great for teaching problem and solution in a way that kindergarten students can actually understand. One idea that I had to use Leo the Late Bloomer is to have your students actually think about something they've struggled with and they overcame. And so they can either draw a picture or they can write out with sentences what was a difficult task for them and how they overcame it and achieved it with a little bit of patience and a little bit of time. To incorporate some type of fine arts, I really thought kindergartners would love to make a tiger and then they could add that to their drawing or their writing piece. One easy idea that they could do is to grab a paper plate, one of those white paper plates with the ridges, and they could just color or paint the entire paper plate orange. They could paint or draw on some little black stripes, add on some eyes, and they got a Leo the Tiger. After I read the book with my students, they were super excited. They loved being able to see themselves as kind of a character in the book. They saw themselves as Leo, and a few of my students actually related their parents to Leo's dad. So when parents worry, they can kind of tell that, you know, their parents are worried they're not getting something fast enough. We had a lot of text to self connection with Leo the Late Bloomer, which I thought was really awesome because in kindergarten or just with primary students, it's really hard sometimes for them to see themselves as the character or put themselves in that situation. And this book made it so easy to make that connection. So I was excited. Right after Christmas, we introduced so many new skills in kindergarten and they're really, really hard. Like addition, subtraction. We are full on reading. They have to blend. And I can struggle a lot when I first introduce the skills. And I think this really helps those that notice they're struggling. Because sometimes it's a little heartbreaking when they can tell they can't do something. But this book will absolutely encourage them and inspire them to say, hey, if I can do it with a little bit of work, you can too. Leo the Late Bloomer is the perfect addition to your classroom library or your home library. It's perfect for teaching the power of it and a little bit of patience. I hope you enjoy it as much as we did.